Welcome to my unboxing and first look at something that we actually detailed pretty reasonably well during our CES coverage, but I'm extremely excited to have it properly hands-on so that we can check out everything from the retail packaging to all that other good stuff. So this is the Orb Weaver from Razer and it features a package with not one, not two, but three seals in the top that I now get to break with my knife. This is the first time that I have seen one of these game pads that is fully mechanical. And not just fully mechanical, but mechanical Cherry MX Blues. So my personal favorite kind of mechanical. So we're gonna go ahead, open up the box where we find, presumably, I haven't seen it yet, but presumably as always, Razer's immaculate attention to detail when it comes to their packaging. Look at that, even the inside of the outer shell box is black because that is how they roll. So on the bottom, we find a couple of things. We find the gold-plated USB connector. Would have liked to see a braided cable here, so that's a little bit unfortunate, but um, it's up to you guys. It doesn't increase performance or anything. It's just the kind of detail I would have expected Razer to include. We've got some Razer stickers, which everyone likes, I think. At least people who like the Razer logo would like Razer stickers. I like the Razer logo. Although I don't think I've ever put Razer stickers on something. Congratulations, there's no turning back, and there's a baby crying. We will be back in a moment. Sorry about that, guys. He bumped his head, so I'm uh, taking over for a little bit. He's feeling better already, but I just want to show you guys all the details of the Orb Weaver itself. We've got it plugged in so you can see the brilliant green LED lighting effects. In fact, you'll be able to see them a little bit better if we kill the house lights and you check these things out. Check them out. Just like the Black Widow Ultimate 2013, the lighting is extremely vibrant and very green. I've encountered other backlit switches that just don't have that same, uh, that same depth to the green color. But uh, yeah, the Black Widow Ultimate 2013 and this one are very, very vibrant. So let's get the lights back and show you guys we have 20 fully programmable keys. So using Razer Synapse 2.0, you can change the functionality to whatever you want, including macros. And because it's cloud-based, your profiles go with you on the fly. All you have to do is log into your Synapse profile and you're good to go. Over here, we have a, again, mechanical analog stick, a thumb rest, as well as an additional button here that can act as a shift, giving you access to up to 40 programmable keys. If you hold shift and press it versus if you don't hold shift and press it, you can put in different functionality. It's also extremely customizable in terms of the length. So you've got two pieces here. I'm just going to sit him down. There's a pin right here that you pull out and you can release this palm rest so that it can be in either down, up, or free moving mode giving you the ability to just kind of have it float with you as you move your hand back and forth. And Slick and I have already each tried this before, but when you expand it to the max, so using this clip right here to expand this piece, there we go. Let's just show you guys that in detail. The baby has the backdrop. There we go, all the way. And this clip right here to expand the thumb or contract it, whichever you prefer. You can have it big enough for Slick's hands where you can see my hands are, look ridiculous on it and I can't even reach the keys hardly, versus if I put it all the way in, we could have it. See, this is where I was going with this. Okay, maybe not quite small enough for baby hands, but pretty darn close, right? You a gamer? There you go. There you go, champ. All right, let's see if I'm missing anything else about it. So we got Razer Synapse 2.0, instantaneous switching between eight different key maps. Oh, that's right. Okay, so there's an indicator over here that allows you to switch between different key maps, backlit keyboard, adjustable hand thumb, and programmable eight-way. Oh yeah, it's an eight-way directional thumb pad. I should have mentioned that. And I just want to talk a little bit about the overall build quality of this guy. It is unbelievable. So it has uh, that same feel that high quality mechanical keyboards have. There is zero flex to the device on the keyboard itself. I mean, I can't, I can't demo flex because there is no flex. <laughs> and the Cherry MX Blue switches feel extremely responsive and have that satisfying sound that you expect from, well, 
Cherry MX Blue switches. The rubber pads on the bottom are using a high quality rubber grip, so it's not going to go anywhere while you're gaming. And we were actually having this conversation off camera between me and the production crew here, where we figure, you know what, probably one of the reasons that the packaging is not quite what you'd normally see from Razer, and uh, you know the cord's not braided, is because this is an extremely expensive device to manufacture compared to competing products out there, like something like a uh, Nostromo, for example. Because it uses mechanical key switches, the cost of making it goes up immensely. So thank you for checking out my unboxing and first look at the Razer Orb Weaver. Don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips for more unboxings, reviews, and other computer videos.